10, 5, 10, or sorry, May 10th, 2013. Got another th severe thunderstorm rolling through here. It's crazy. It's the fifth one today. All right, so here we go, folks. Clone Bayou berm walls fail. <clears throat> yep. Berm walls have failed, and all the water is not flowing out of the sinkhole. It's actually flowing in to the sinkhole after the bad flooding rains that they've been having down there. Seems to be bad flooding rains all over the place because we were having floods here. My whole basement got flooded today. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Allergies, too. Yeah, just crazy, crazy year so far. If you guys want to go and check this out, this is BP Earthwatch. You know, always great information from him, and nobody else can tell it better than him. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out. Also, another event from space. Thousands of people have flocked to the uh, Emosite region out of curiosity to view a small piece of meteorite that landed that landed in a field in the village of Ashaka. Sorry, my phone was going off. Yesterday morning, the incident created fear and panic among villagers who suggested the strange object had something to do with the recent commotion over the 12, 12 South African aircraft that were released after days of grounding at Odenau or Ondangwa Airport. The aircraft of Southern Africa origin were grounded for several days and then sent back to South Africa because they had no permits to use them by an airspace. So another meteorite everybody flat flocked to so now there was one one that hit Connecticut a house but about a week ago two weeks ago and then now another one actually yeah, about a week ago now another one hit a house in Connecticut that's twice poor Connecticut's getting pelted now this one in Africa come over here on the RSOE you can see the event from space right here bear with me here Event into space. That was the meteorite that hit the house in Waterbury, Connecticut. Then, if you come over here to where Africa's at, another one right here. Event into space. You guys want to go ahead and check into that. So, yep, more events into space. Also, on to other news, there was a solar flare pop off. Two of them. We had an M4 and then now an M1. So, keep our eyes out in the sun. Big old B swinging in over here as well. We have to keep our eyes out on that. Went ahead and I checked on to uh, space weather. They're not really showing much right now. Mac Mac real time data starting to spike back up lightly. It looks like. Also, you know, there's the two flares there, both M class, and we had the C classes over here. We're still in the C range with C flares popping off at normal rate right now. So I'm pretty sure we'll see another one spike back up here really, really soon. KP index holding off steady. You know, nothing really major except for that one M4. Then the M1. So there you go. And then a few Cs. So we're going to go ahead and keep our eyes out on that. Also, endless internal spiral still showing the same flare. The bigger flare, the M4. That popped off. Also, earthquakes. Um, there was just a 5.1 down over here around Guatemala. Also, Papua New Guinea at a 5. Also, a 4.4 in Indonesia. Also, up here, around Japan, they had a 4.6. And an unusual, two unusual quakes down here in the southern Pacific. Or Atlantic, I'm sorry. 5.3 and a 5.5. Very rare. Also, two other rare quakes. Iceland's been having an a up earthquake uptick again. They had like a 4.6 a few days ago. So something definitely to watch out for. Especially this. Because if you guys remember um, what Cliff High said, somewhere down around the south, hemis southern hemisphere. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. Also, on AMS... Seven media reports now. If you look through all the other reports, there is well over almost close to 300, somewhere around 300 reports just in the past 10 days, just in the U.S. and Canada alone. Also, if you come over here and you look through all this, a lot of them. Here's go U.S. getting peppered, also U.K., Spain getting peppered. But if you look here, U.K. fireball, May 8th. Japan fireball, May 6th. 
come down. Japan had another fireball. There's a video on here. It happened May 8th. So they had two of them, May 6th and May 8th. Just like before, they had one on. You know, they've been having a lot of them over there. This is definitely a year to be watching this stuff. Also, May 8th, another meteor explodes over southern Wyoming. So if you want to check that out, it's May 8th and then also May 4th. Uh, another um, uh, event there, if you guys want to look into that. Also, Maryland, PA, New Jersey, New York, all that stuff, May 4th. May 5th, another one over Colorado, Wyoming. Also, another file report. Also, if you come down here, this talks about the one in um, Africa yesterday night. Also, the other one here. A lot of meteorite action, plus we still have 1988 TA out there. Hopefully, it misses us. I'm pretty sure it is passing us by now. Thank the good Lord for that. And, um, yeah, so that's it. Just wanted to give you guys those quick updates. There you go. Much love, and may God bless.